hello guys this is a tutorial on after effects duplicating composition independent way so that you can uh, just control the sub compositions under the main composition let me explain okay this is a composition title animation pretty nice so you can see this is a pretty cool animation I want to duplicate that I mean I want to reuse that again and again for example I want to duplicate so I press the shortcut called Control D even if I use it over here, uh, placing uh, I mean the same place but in different from the view side. Okay, so this is the same animation. So what if I want to change the text? For example, here is one two three. I want to change with A B C D maybe. Okay, so after that I want to go to the main comp and you can see I changed one composition with text but it changed the two compositions so what is the solution for this so uh, this is not the way actually I did it the duplicate one so there are several way you can do that maybe I, I found three ways I'm going to explain that today to you so first way is the duplicated from the source project for example I would like to open it from the preview from the source and project and this is the one title 5 okay I want to duplicate that and as well as the sub compositions under that text 1 text 2 this is the text 1 and text 2 as I know so I want to select all three compositions control D duplicate them inside the projects window so I want to create a new folder Call the uh, text two maybe okay so I want to put them into the folder and in the preview tab still if I just duplicate uh, place the uh, text uh, composition over here you can see the A B C D A B C D still remain same uh, why because under the composition this text one two three is the same as the composition five inside text one and two compositions so what we can do is to change this one and two in the title six okay so just the easiest way is I know the four num number four, three is for the one so number two is for the four this is how you uh, actually um, uh, after effects duplicate their composition so I want to select the one over here and hold my alter button in windows I don't know what the uh, what's the button for Mac maybe uh, I don't know just hold the alter button drag it to the composition and place it to the layer text 01 I release my left mouse button and after that I release my alter button okay and again for number four text holding alter button dragging and dropping it to the number two or maybe uh, I just <laughs> didn't select the two so it changed with the four or three okay so replace that again my bad okay. so in this time if I just go over here in the title five I mean that sorry the title six I change something called X uh, maybe called test one and in the other parts maybe I just remove two lines okay so if I go to the main code project I can see there are two different compositions two lines are missing and this is obviously separate these two compositions are not working in the same way so this is one way obviously this is clumsy and lengthy so what can be the possible other good way to do that I have the solution so okay let's just delete this entire we can just save this existing project for example I want to save this save as uh, something like main title Sorry. okay 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 I want to reuse this uh, 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 composition so I want to create a new project uh, new compositions maybe full HD 
25 fps okay good i want to import that project no it is on my desktop okay tutorial uh video high project this is the main title huh? i want to import that so uh, i want to use the title here you can see the animation a b c d okay so i don't want to create a new composition again and again i want that you want to put those thing using the alter button holding the alter button and drag and drop so what i can do is just import it again just main title import it again okay just import it that now i got the title the same name is there i can just rename it like uh, this six okay so i put it over here um obviously I, this one is six the, the i mean the left one is five and the right one is six okay so if i can go to the six and change the text with something like test and go back to the main comp i can see yeah they're, they're totally different now they are not dependent they are totally independent so again and again i can just uh, import the project and make uh, new compositions to use it reuse it again but in this case it may be uh, not efficient because it can increase your uh, after effects project size maybe okay oh, no, i mean obviously it will increase their size but uh, anyway i have another solution obviously uh, that will also increase the size of the after effects project but that is based on the script okay, i found it on the youtube uh, from other person so let me show you how can we do that before that doing this i have to close my after effects project i, I mean the close after effects so this is the script i'm going to add this in the uh, description in my youtube uh, video so this is the script dot jsx true comp duplicator okay so what i have to do is go to my computer after effects installation folder i know where it is effects support file in the support file again obviously find the folder for scripts inside the scripts let's put it in the ui panel obviously yeah so i can find that uh, the script in the window tab okay so just again dragging and dropping it continue okay it's doing fine okay i have to reset my after effects Okay, so let's bring the project what I opened last time. If it works perfectly. Okay, open recent projects on main title. Maybe no. This one. Okay, so um, this is the project. I have to run the script. In the window, you can see the true comp duplicator okay so to do start duplicating i just have to select the composition i want to duplicate in the projects window increase the last number in names that means uh, the last number in the name will automatically be increased as you increase the number of copies this method is really helpful because when you want to uh, use multiple compositions like more than 10 times or 20 times you just don't want to import more and more uh, composition like the previous way i showed what you really need to do is just use this script it's really easy for example i want to use 10 compositions independent compositions right now in this project so what you can do is just click the duplicate button this will take a little while and after that you can see 10 individual god damn compositions over here how come okay starting with the 5 15 it ends that means 6 to 15 there are new 10 compositions so i want to use the call 6 call 7 okay let's just use the 13 num num number okay mm. These are all the same things. I want to compare if they are still dependent. 
and putting in the same timeline putting a different position in the view so next five next one one two three okay it says what is it okay let's say try with the five four five six okay it's working there's all different composition let's try with the number seven uh, seven eight nine maybe okay how about the okay this is still working seven eight nine number 13 obviously it should be working too so let's say the SD test okay all they're different all they're different so you can independently change all these compositions anytime with this script really helpful so thank you guys uh, if you think this tutorial is helpful for you just uh, give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe okay have a nice time